Greetings family, this is Leah Sam, The Naturally You Coach, and today is Father's Day. And Father's Day for me has always been a tricky day to process. I love celebrating Father's Day, Children's Day, Mother's Day, I love all of that. But for years, it didn't feel like I had a father I could celebrate, so I had to acquire fathers to celebrate on that day and put the focus on other people's fathers as opposed to my own because I didn't feel like my father stepped up to the plate for a very long time. Um, however, he eventually did. And <laughs> uh, I, th I think it took probably about 45 years of him being a father to step up to the plate. And the older I get, the more I realise that parenting generally is flipping hard. <laughs> it's just... It's just very challenging. And most of us didn't have, a lot of us didn't have a good example. So we're figuring everything out as we go along. And it's really easy to sit back and be very judgmental on the choices that somebody makes as they're trying to work something out. Um, and I was extremely judgmental of my father. I didn't want to give him any, um, you know, benefit of the doubt. It took decades for me to allow him back into my life um, and treat him with the same patience that I can only hope my children will treat me with when they look back on, you know, <laughs> my parenting journey as I've worked things out as well. So today on Father's Day, I want to give a shout out to fathers like mine who passed on two years ago. And thankfully, I was able to allow myself to have a relationship with him um, before he left um, so that I could, I could, uh, again, allow myself to let him be a father to me when he did figure it out because I had the choice not to and I really did not want to. And it was actually my brother who really encouraged me to allow him back into my life, which allowed him to be part of my children's life, which... I feel allowed a large part of my trauma to from my, you know, the domestic violence childhood that we experienced to level out somewhat, which has helped my personal growth. So I want to shout out to the fathers that did take 45 years to, to sort things out. Um, I want to give a shout out to, to other relatives and friends that I know other brothers that I know on Father's Day who, you know, they hit some speed bumps along the way as they were figuring things out. Um, you know, they might have done a bird. They might have ran away because responsibility was too much. Um, they they may have felt the whole experience of being a father just very overwhelming and couldn't handle it. But eventually they did come back. Um, I want to give a shout out to them as well today on Father's Day. And I also want to give a shout out to someone who has always been a father figure to me. Um, and is an amazing father to his own children, which is my brother, Julian Hall. And another whole category of fathers who, in my opinion, have got it right from day one, just like my husband, Jeremy Salmon, um, who has always been there, always been consistent, even if he didn't quite know what he was doing, like me, we he stayed and supported and made the effort. Um, and no matter what was happening between me and him, he was always going to put them first. And he has always put them first. Um, and I'm pretty sure he will always put them first. And yeah, I want to give him a massive shout out for that. So today on Father's Day, no matter what kind of father you are, I want to just reassure you that, yeah, it's, I know it's hard, bruv. <laughs> I know it's hard. And I know, and I, I know it's hard because it's hard for mums. And, you know, this might be a bit of a blanket statement, but I do feel mums are a little bit more maternal. I feel we're a little bit more made for parenting than brothers are. I know that might be very controversial, but I do feel it's true. So whatever stage you feel you're at as a father, um, just big up and keep it moving and keep trying and keep showing up and keep being there and apologise if you need to and do more if you need to. 
um, and look after yourself when you need to as well. Because I think a lot of the challenges that a lot of us as parents and general mothers and fathers are, are um, under the pressure of is that we can sometimes not take our needs into consideration. And then that creates so much stress in us that we can't parent properly. We can't parent our children the way that we want to. Um, so yeah, and brothers don't like saying when they need help. So do that, brothers. <laughs> Say when you need help. Um, and no matter what stage of the journey you're on, tomorrow's a new day. And you can always you can always do better than you feel you may have done the day before. So whether it's taking you 45 years to, to sort it out, three years to sort it out, or whether you've got it right from day one, like my good old man, Jeremy Salmon. I hope you have a great Father's Day today. Take care, stay healthy.